Of Isaiah, the word that Isaiah, son of Asmoth, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of its house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. 
Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. now than when we became believers. The night is far gone. The day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, the Spirit is saying to the church, Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. About that day and hour, no one knows, neither the angels of heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. For as the days of Noah were, so will we be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing until the flood came and swept them all away. So too will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two will be in the field, one will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding meal together. One will be taken, and one will be left. Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father and of the Son, Amen. Other job as a university chaplain, I sometimes hear stories from students who have read about going to the first lecture and hear an easy course next to you and realize that they're not still going to be here at the end of the term. Sometimes these exhortations are an actor who wants to reduce the class to do the work. Often, however, I suspect this speech is meant to motivate with the seriousness of the task ahead of the best work there can be. It's possible that there is an element of that kind of exhortation going on in our books actually. As we enter this lectionary year dominated by Matthew, you may hear me say that some will be taken on some bizarrely popular books and movies and left a lot of people with a very twisted sense of what it's all about. Being exactly the opposite of what the writers of the Left Behind books and movies think it does. Some may be judgment, while others will be left in peace and forgiveness because of youth. Either way, though, if you think about it, this theology creates a kind of society among believers. We certainly get to align our sympathies with the winners and imagine ourselves among them. And profoundly damaging ideas to a sort of blessedness competition. One may be taken and the other left behind, so either leaving or you are the one who are who is blessing in me a pious anxiety. I cannot bring myself to believe. And redeemed us, is us to live our lives in honorless states. But really, I don't think that this idea is even particularly central to our, our repetition. Jesus is responding to the disciples' almost invariable question about the end time. When will these things be those? Neither the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. What he is talking about is not some sign we are given. I don't know how many of you are moving moments in the whole series comes early on when Frodo, the protagonist, I wish the ring had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. Gandalf the wizard replies, so do all who live to see turn out is to hold ourselves in readiness to do the will 
our lives. And we mostly by telling them what sins to avoid, but also reminding them that all such commandments are summed up in the instruction, love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. That is a thing to remember in our in-between time, a thing to give us hope in a world where a few powerful people have the capacity to destroy millions with the care of the button, where our very survival as a species depends on our to unite around the issue of climate change in love and rage. The rage is easy to crucial. We can turn our lives upside down but the weight of the law is not the good news of the gospel, the good news of God in Christ. And so as we come into this new Advent season, the beginning of a new growth into the life of God, you can see the people to beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into crucibles, where nations shall not lift. And if we we can know that it exists in the mind of God, that it is God's desire for the world, and that the way from this world is the path of hope, of Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us confess our faith as we believe in the one of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternal light from light, true God from true God, for us and for our salvation, he came out from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary. He suffered. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into the past. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. He has spoken. We believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. We acknowledge one baptism for forgiveness of sins. We look on Dear friends in Christ, God is cast in love and infinite in mercy. Let us confess our sins, confident in God's forgiveness. Merciful God, we confess that we have by what we have. We have not loved you without we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, Jesus Christ, and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the God have mercy deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.
coming of your son. Accept all we offer you this day and sustain us with your promise of eternal life. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
The body of Christ is the body of Christ. Oh, <laughs> 
Let us see some ever lawful that we may be ready to stand before the Son of Man. We ask this in the name of Christ the Lord. Amen. Glory to God, whose true power is working in us, and who gives us infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus. Forever and ever. Amen. Well, welcome to those joining us on the live stream and to those of you who are 
here in person as we begin this new year of the church. A few new announcements. You'll see reference to the FaithWorks materials. If you didn't get a FaithWorks envelope with your leaflet this morning, please do pick one up from the narthex as, as you go. That is our diocesan organization to support multiple outreach partnerships. It is work that we can all do together, work that would be beyond the scope of many of us, but a united effort. The partner agencies can do extraordinary things. Bonnie has given us a list of specials to work things that can safely withstand freezing temperatures. You'll have found in your leaflets a list, a very, very preliminary list of anti bias and anti racism resources. Um, I had originally thought about having those conversations in Advent as a program following the service, but Advent is really quite short when you think about it. So I thought we could begin some individual study resources now and then make that our focus during Lent. So that's that's why you have the resources today. The uh, Lent course that Dr. Sylvia Keithman is offering is, uh, is beginning tomorrow. Yes. You may notice at the back of the church there's something new. There's, there used to be a very large gray creche that our ancestors made many, many years ago. I believe it was Hal Wilton and John Mitchell that made it. And it has become increasingly burdensome to get it up in the loft and bring it down every year. So I asked Dan and Dan and his friends worked together to make us a new creche that is easily taken apart, easily stored, and doesn't take three men to haul it up into the loft for us. Thank you. And we will enjoy it through Advent. It's, it's very old possibly a lot more elegant than the original. It's true. And we have the benefit of all those beautiful illuminations and, and paintings of the nativity through the years. It can fit into one of those. Thank you. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keeps your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Thank you. 